Welcome to this new appointment with the Green Islands documentary. We are in Minorca where we are going to celebrate the fifth edition of Green Islands International Conference. Nosotros de las islas somos una comunidad, una comunidad que trabajamos juntos para mejorar la calidad de vida de la gente que vive en las islas, lo primero, y para hacer las islas un sitio donde los turistas pueden disfrutar, pero conocer la cultura, la tradición de las islas. <música> But Green the Islands is not only an initiative for the sustainability of the islands, it is also promoting culture and traditions. That's why today we decided to start this documentary from uh, this uh, small island of Lazzaretto inside the port of Minorca. It's so called Lazzaretto because uh, thousands and thousands of people with the illness of cholera, yellow fever and plague were recovered here to be isolated from the rest of the population. surrounding the island very high to avoid that the illness people could escape cut it down recently they were much higher also because they were afraid that the wind could bring the illness to the island the Hermitage of San Sebastian, which is the patron of the island of Minorca. And this is a special place inside the small uh, island of the Lazzaretto. The priests uh, with a stick were giving the communion wafer to the suspicious people and the infected people from distance. water tower with a water well from where the water were distributed to all the island and in the top of the tower the director was controlling the boat arriving and there there is a door from where the people very hill were passing through and they were excavating their own graves before dying. Gracias y bienvenidos, porque es realmente un orgullo para Menorca y para el Consejo Insular de Menorca el poder albergar aquí en nuestra isla esta quinta edición del Congreso de Greening the Island. Básicamente porque desde el equipo de gobierno actual hemos tenido muy claro que para acertar con las políticas necesitamos generar estos espacios de debate, de interactuación, de experiencias, conocimiento, a efectos de enriquecernos y de poder tener una perspectiva más global para poder actuar en local. Menorca has advanced a lot in terms of territorial preservation, in terms of um, urban growth that is respectful of the, of the territory and the other Balearic Islands. And I think a lot of other islands have to learn from Menorca on this. But we still have some very, very big challenges in terms of waste, in terms of water, in terms of energy that all islands, including Menorca, still have to, to walk towards. And that's why it's so important to be able to have this sort of conferences and this sort of exchanges. <laughs> Vivimos en un territorio privilegiado, con un entorno natural valioso, en el que hemos tenido la capacidad de saber conjugar una economía de servicios con lo que representa territorios de valor natural, en el que aporta valor añadido todo lo que represente esta idea de calidad de vida y, por tanto, represente valores naturales y ambientales. 1993, uh, we start 
uh, as the biosphere reserve. In that time, there were not so many. It's a prize, but it's also a responsibility. Yes, yeah? so it's a responsibility towards the future, towards the future of the generations that they're still not here. Yeah. The intelligent way of proceed is to advance as much fast as possible to have a non-carbonized society. Today, uh, to produce electricity with a renewable energy source is cheap. Our conference has started as usual with a national session in order to depend local issues and opportunities where the utility and leading companies offering technology solutions cannot miss. While during the breaks we cannot miss the opportunity to continue to visit this small island full of surprises. These buildings are called navetas because of their shape, small upturned boats. They date back to the end of the Bronze Age. According to some archaeologists, they would have been dwellings, while the most accredited theory speaks of collective graves. The taulas, found only in Menorca, are large T, shaped stone structures to impersonate the local deities. In fact, they were used as altars in the religious ceremonies of the ancient inhabitants of Menorca. Water is part of the circular economy, and this is extremely important because the circular economy is now priority one in uh, the European uh, Commission and the European Union. The key mandate of uh, WAP is to assess, monitoring, report on the, on the status, uh, the quality and quantity, the use management of freshwater resources in the world. This year is uh, about the nature-based solutions for water. NBS Currently, water management remains heavily dominated by traditional human-built, the so-called grey infrastructure, and the enormous potential for NBAs remains underutilized. We are trying to lead the way in promoting environmentally responsible, sustainable practices in desalination and advanced water treatment, and we really do believe that the game-changing component here is the combination of renewable energy with these systems. Another specific or specificity of islands is population densities and uh, tourism and also the impact of tourism on population densities but also um, and it is important when we consider water in an island it's not just the freshwater part or the water production part but there is also the marine environment which is as equally threatened as the inland water parts and therefore the fragile water environment of the islands as, as a whole. in the most strategic place of the island of Minorca. We are inside the Biosphere Reserve, we are inside uh, this uh, beautiful park and we are in front of uh, a lighthouse uh, which is one of the most beautiful uh, famous uh, lighthouses in the island of Minorca. These two topics represent really the key topics of this uh, fifth edition of Greedy Islands International Conference, the Biosphere. And uh, this event, the fifth edition of Greedy Islands International Conference, is the launching event of the Observatory. In this uh, launching event of the Observatory, all uh, the key stakeholders of the Scientific Island Committee meet uh, to discuss about uh, authorization process, uh, technology innovation, solutions, uh, cost, uh, trends. Uh. 
All this study will help uh, on one side uh, the administration, the municipality, to make a proper, effective uh, decarbonization plans. Uh, on the other side, it will help uh, industry to make uh, strategic plans uh, to find uh, better solutions for the islands. Islands have uh, a particular mentality, um, which is one based around self-sufficiency and localism. They also have a defined territorial, a limited geographical scope, all of which means that from the energy perspective, these islands are uh, particular examples that we can use to develop new systems. In the last year, we focus our request on three things. So uh, an industrial strategy for batteries, coherent legislation and market development. In each of the country in which we are working, there were uh, so different situations among the regions which were not only given to different, let's say, wind resources, but mainly based on the different way in which uh, certain energy, in this case the renewable wind, uh, has been treated and given and accepted by the local population. I'm planning a project on circular water on small islands. We call them challenges because it's, uh, the process is to challenge the island and say, could you achieve this? And be respectful uh, towards the island. Of the islands I have looked, no one was perfect, but they all had uh, many things to teach each other. We invented the blending. We, met, we said, why do you don't give the loan? And you know what they said? The president of the banks, they said, we have triple A rating and we don't want to lose it. Hmm? So we said, what do you want from the commission in order that you give the loan to the trials which have the business plan? And they said, we want another grant. That's why in the blending we give 20% to cover the residual risk. This is very important. The future will be more of this. Governments don't have the money to subsidize everything, especially not market rollouts. Almost 50 years ago, we started to talk about electric mobility, which, if you think about 50 years ago, it was a quite big mission at that time. Now, last year we had our Stuttgart edition with the EVS 30, which was well known in our sector, which was the most successful edition ever. So that proves that electromobility is taking off. We never got so much attention, we never got so much audience. Basically what we're saying by introducing the CICO certification is that we are recognizing just how important the circular economy is to tourism. Over the years, tourism in Boracay, which has been known for its crystal clear waters and white powdery beaches, prospered and grew exponentially leading to an increased demand in infrastructure and socio-economic services. Sadly, this growth in the islands have really caused a lot of degradation. The water system and the sewage system have been compromised. In terms of power, during the peak months, the summer, the load or the consumption of electricity increases almost twofold. I will cross Boracay. Boracay is a cesspool. But you go into the water, it's smelling. So Boracay in a few months, few months there. The conference continues with numerous interventions by old and new friends. Key decision makers for the sustainable development of islands depending the topic of energy, water, mobility, waste and other environmental sectors with very important best practices on policy and technology solutions. In the Green the Alliance conferences we cannot miss the moment of networking in a magic place such as this time the Lazzaretto by Night that has hosted the cocktail gala dinner of this fifth edition.
because uh, it's time for the war. So the Mobility Awards goes to Helgoland in Germany. Thank you.